Hello, 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 oh, hello. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode here on the Hermitcraft server. I'm punching roses like a boss. It has been a little while between episodes. I apologize about that. I am terrible, but I haven't just been sitting on my butt twiddling my thumbs the whole time. I've been busy with a few other projects while sitting on my butt twiddling my thumbs at the same time. So if you want a bit more ZF in your life, listen up because this is what I've been up to. Firstly, live streams. You can catch me live streaming over on Mixer. I'm trying to stream a lot more often nowadays, including a lot of extra work here on Hermitcraft. So make sure you go over there and follow so that you know when I go live. Uh, you can also check out my other YouTube channel. Yes, I do have another YouTube channel other than this one. Um, there's now more than 50 videos over there. So if you share my sense of humor, I think you'll really enjoy yourself. Go over there and have a little bit of a binge watch. You will not regret it, probably. And last but not least, I'm spending as much time as I can with my Patreon community. Absolutely fantastic bunch of people over there. We've got an awesome survival server. We do group UHCs, creative build battles, a bunch of other cool events as well. And we have an awesome active Discord community where we all just hang out together and have a bit of a laugh. So if you want to join whilst also helping to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon rewards. I've recently updated the reward structure too. So now you can get even more rewards Two. How cool is that? Now back to the current video, eh? Let's get stuck into a little bit of hermit crafty goodness. We are now here on 1.14. That's not exactly how it's spelt, but that is exactly the version we are on. So we've got plenty of new features to play with now, as well as plenty of new bugs to play with too. So that's fun, isn't it? No, it's uh, slowly improving as time goes on. Have I got auto jump on? Clearly not. I'm just rubbing myself up against the ground. Um, but last episode we were over here um, in the beautiful new flower forest base and we made a little dirt hole. Hooray! What a good amount of work we did. <laughs> we started setting up grass races and things like that. Um, today we're going to be carrying on working over here as well. We're not going to play with uh, many of the new 1.14 features just yet. We'll get to those in due time. Don't you worry. There's no rush. Plenty of time to be doing everything. Um, I think maybe a couple of them might actually sneak into today's episode as well. Um, but today, I have a humongous thing that I want to try and achieve. Let's see how good we can do. Um, I'm normally not very good at making a lot of progress in my episodes, but uh, today might be, might be different. I, it might not be. It also might not be as well. But um, let, let's put this rose down, shall we? I'm sick and tired of carrying it around. Today, I want to start work on the greenhouse. Oh yes, you just thought we were going to be living underground, watching grass grow. No, we're going to be living above ground, watching other plants grow as well. How exciting is that? <laughs> um, so my kind of plan, I think this whole area here is a little bit like walled in, which I really, really like. Um, get out of the way, roses. You're in the way now. What? Did I just complete? Okay, it fell down there. I thought I completely obliterated it into oblivion. Um, yeah, the fact that this is already kind of walled, I like. We can add a kind of roof to this as well as some structure coming out over to here. Um, I want to make a humongous greenhouse with every kind of growable thing in it imaginable. It's going to be beautiful and it's probably going to be quite humid in there because that's what happens with greenhouses. So what do you say we jump straight into it? Literally! That was a terrible jump. <laughs> So, to begin with, I am busy making some feet, some big pillars uh, that this thing is going to rest on. Trying to kind of work out the size, trying to fit it into this gap quite nicely. Um, as you can see at the minute, well, fly, fly. Uh, we've got one pillar there, middle pillar there, uh, another pillar tucked away in that back corner. Um, another one over here, there, and I'm guessing, obviously, whichever, wherever these two kind of meet up at a right angle, it's just on a nice grid. Um, they should all be nicely measured apart as well. It's quite bad. I've had to destroy quite a lot of trees and nature and things. I've also trapped a sheep as well. So, um, yeah, quite ironic to say the least that I'm creating some kind of uh, natural paradise. And by doing so, I'm destroying the actual natural paradise um, in its wake. But it does mean we're getting a lot of seeds and saplings and things like that ready to uh, actually fill this thing up once it's built. I'm so sorry, nature. Don't worry, I will I will make it all up to you in a little while. I'm using the polished andesite for this. I actually really, hey, really like this block. Um, I think it's quite underrated. Um, I enjoy it. I feel like it's a very strong looking block, very structural. Um, so I'm probably not going to make these whole pillars out of it like I have been at the moment. Um, maybe just the bases of them. I'm actually thinking of going down the quartz route. 
Uh, that seems too short, I don't know. Um, so we'll see, but maybe the bases of these can be this andesite, and then it can go to quartz pillars as it goes up. We also need to kind of work out the roof shape as well, but I, I think I'm quite liking the uh, positioning of all these pillars so far. All right, so how does this look? From a distance, not too bad, not too bad. It could go a little higher. I'm imagining maybe the roof actually kind of arching up and above the main height of those pillars. Let's kind of look at it from a few different angles, see if it would uh, flow and fit, because the uh, majority of the outside of this is going to be made of glass. I mean, this is a perfect view, obviously. Um, so let's take a look at it up from around the side here. I'm hoping it really kind of nestles itself in to the kind of terrain and the, the natural lines and stuff quite well. I'm, I'm quite liking it from, from most of these views. Uh, the next test we need to do is a height test. Um, we want to grow all sorts of things in this place, including a big old jungle tree. So uh, let's plant this. I guess let's plant it kind of nearish a pillar. I guess here over here will do. Uh, might have to destroy some more nature. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> Chop this tree down too, just in case it it's uh, limiting the area. And uh, bone mill. Uh, oh, that actually brings me on very nicely to the next topic of conversation. So I believe we want to make some slabs, some wooden slabs. Slab at the top, slab at the bottom. Sides like that. Boom. Barrel. Is this, is this even the right thing? This isn't how you make bone mill. This is how you make beer or wine or something. A little, little trap door there. Oh, you can just store things in it, though. Um, right, yeah, no. Wrong, wrong. So we actually want this thing, the composter, the composter. I don't know how to say it. I don't know how I would normally say it. I'd say compost. So it's a composter. Okay, I learned. I learned a thing. Not a composter. It's not an imposter either. <laughs> um, and this thing we can literally fill up with um, goodies, with natural stuff. Again, sorry, environment. Sorry about that. Um, and once it's full, it should plop out a piece of bone meal for us. Um, uh, 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 does it matter? I think it matters what you put in. Like that. Excellent. It just bone milled itself. And then we pop that out. We should be able to do this. And if we use some shears, we can actually um, harvest the grass. Is it called grass? Grass. I was correct. It's called grass. Um, and I'm hoping if we just then feed that straight back in, we can end up with like a net positive amount of bone meal. Well, this... Wow, grass doesn't make this go up very quickly, does it? Oh, maybe this won't work then. I'm pretty sure at one point in the snapshots, you'd get more bone meal out of this. But, oh no, look, I've run out. And, and I've got less flowers now. This is no good at all. My, my initial plan might not actually work. Ooh, <laughs> you, can add, you can step in the mulch. You don't just stand on top of it. Oh, maybe I should like try pooping in here as well to fill it up. So now it's got me wondering whether these work. I'm very hopeful that they will. Um, sorry, tree. Sorry, tree. We, we needed to get rid of you anyway. Um, this whole area, we kind of need to like more naturally place things. I want it to be nice and dense, you know? I want there to be flowers and things everywhere. Um, I know here in the UK, there's a couple of these like indoor garden places. Never been to one, but I've seen lots of pictures and they seem really, really cool. They're like in this big um, uh, environmentally controlled dome or something like that and and there's all these like tropical plants and stuff in there yeah they all oh, 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 leaves work really well okay yeah 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 leaves leaves fill it up nicely okay this is good this is good we're making all the bone mill right now um and yeah we should be able to chuck a hopper on this too and auto get bone mill out of it which would be quite nice we could definitely have a little composting section to this base where whenever we've got any extra natural stuff we lob it in there and we'll just get a bit of extra bone meal out of it. Um, I still think a skeleton farm would actually be the best thing. Oh, I already got some bones. Huh. Would you look at that? I didn't have to do all this at all. <laughs> um, but let's go and make our jungle tree now. That was what we were actually doing. I ended up going down the rabbit hole of uh, bone mill craziness, but I also wanted to try out the new composter. There we go. I said it. I said it properly. Oh, I said it how I want to say it. Um, let's grow this tree. Do, 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 do. Or... Let's not grow this tree. That's an idea, too. Stupid flowers, I think, getting in the way. Haha! -ha! It grew! It grew in front of my very eyes. Okay, so I think jungle trees are naturally quite a bit taller than this. Even with a domed roof on, it might not fit. But I'm pretty sure I've seen jungle trees smaller than that, too. So maybe if there was already a roof on it and we grew one, it would kind of... Like, this kind of height would be the, the smallest one. And we could always maybe just, like, trim. Trim it a bit so that it fits nicely. 
into our greenhouse. So just like with all of my projects, uh, they, they're never really planned. They end up kind of just developing and evolving over time. So I'm just kind of trying to get a rough structure in here. This is not going to be what's here. We're probably going to have lots of little nice doorway openings um, where it matters. So there'll be one over this river entrance here. Uh, maybe there'll be like a nice little entrance way on this particular hill. We've got another little area here, so maybe there'll be like a bridge or something going over this. But at the minute, I'm just kind of putting in a very boring, very rectangular fence just to kind of help me shape it slowly. We're going to build it ugly and slowly but surely over time improve it. Uh, we also have a bit of a wetness issue. Yes, we're a little bit too watery for my liking. So uh, I wanted to do a little test over here with how high is your head when you're in a boat. So uh, I'm assuming, yes, we can very comfortably go underneath a block and a half of air above the water. Um, we can, I mean, not comfortably. I'm certainly scratching and scraping the very top of my skull, but technically we can fit under one block. We can also, technically, <laughs> fit under here without any kind of air problems, even though I'm pretty sure this is going to be the most painful thing that our brain has ever encountered in its life. Yes, we're very much inside our own head right now. Uh, there is really no other way out about it. Hello. Um, so we could technically put it half a block above the water as well. Doesn't really look as good when you're, when you're floating about though. Um, I guess if it was all like this, once you're inside, it all becomes invisible. Let's just double check that. Let's put another one here. Um, hey, let me, let me place another block. Ugh. Like this. Let's put two more there and there. If we go inside... Yeah, okay, they all become invisible, so... Oh, kinda. Not all of them. There's a few little odd sides that don't. So, uh, yeah, we'll probably keep it at least a block above the water, but I'm imagining having these really cool, like, little walkway things over all of this. We might put a bit more of an edge in, a bit more of a bank to actually walk on that's path, but then crisscrossing over all of this middle bit, we can have these lovely paths that all kind of meet up and split and go all different routes. It's gonna be lovely. Oh. My. Word. I was down here getting more andesite for the pillars because we needed a whole bunch more and I found a spawner. I was so hoping it was going to be a skeleton one so that we could get bone meal. Um, what's in the old chest? We've got some music and some sapphires and things. A little bit of bones. Not too bad. Then I heard summer rattling. Let's just take it all. Um, wandered over this way a little bit more. Do, 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 do. Round this corner. Up round this hole a little bit. And bam! Look at this! And there's definite rattling going on. So we, there's a good chance this is going to be a skelly one. Oh, yes. Oh, it's skelly filled. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh ho, boy. Oh, no. Oh, green in my face. <laughs> that's that's not something you want to see. At least it wasn't creepery. Oh, okay. Well, they're all killing themselves in there. So that's great. Can I poke a little uh, something, something in? Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello there, Goldie boy. Um... Okay, that was surprisingly easy. I mean, he's decked out completely and utterly, isn't he? Hoja. Let's just get in here. We're stronger than anyone. Go on, keep hitting me. See see, see what bat worse you can do. Oh, I light all that up. It is definitely a skelly spawner, isn't it? Yes, I just got terrified then. I saw a, I saw a spider for some reason. Um, any fun goodies? A couple of fun goodies in there. And some more gems and things. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take everything we can carry, which I guess isn't much. Um, but yeah, we officially now have a skelly spawner. I don't know how far I am away from the base. I kind of got a little bit um, sidetracked and just wandered through a whole bunch of caves. But yeah, we can definitely get here within a couple of hundred blocks, minimum. So, great news. Ouch. Did that hurt? It felt like it hurt. Oh, 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 okay. And another thing, that's where the skelly one is. This is where the zombie one is. I'm pretty sure they're close enough for both to be active at once, somewhere in the middle. Can you turn the old rotten, stinky flesh into some bone meal? No. No, you can't. Well, okay then. Oh. Oh, hello. Hello. What's your name? Do I care? I don't care. Go away. I heard some strange noises and, and you've came up. <laughs> uh. Please, stop what you're doing. Ow! Oh. Ah, well, yes, it does appear that it is quite far away. Um, got the coordinates of the base. Dug a nice tunnel all the way back. It certainly is a couple of hundred blocks, so... Unfortunately, it's not, like, right behind that dirt wall, which would have been perfect, which would have meant all the time we were in the base, 
Um, we could have skeletons being built up. But you know what? It certainly is going to be usable still. It's a project for a rainy day or a rainy episode or a wet episode of any kind of weather, really. I'm not that fussy. Boom, it's right here. So, you know, it didn't take too long. We could maybe set up like a minecart track to come over here or something. Um, also, we don't have to come like right up against. We don't have to stand on top of this thing for it to work. We could probably be, you know, 10, 15 blocks over here or something um, and it would still be working. Also moving diagonally as well, of course, uh, you'd get here a lot quicker than going around the two straight lines. And, you know, our base wasn't going to just stop there. We were going to have a nice little cave system. So we just need to make sure we kind of build our cave system in the direction of that skelly spawner. Um, just so that we're that little bit closer. But yeah, that is really, really good news. This can be our new bone mill farm. We can have a load of other cool things that are getting grown here. I still do want to make an auto composting machine. Um, I guess we should make sure that that technology exists as well before we get too excited. Don't want another rotten flesh situation all over again. And... Uh, yeah, yeah! Automated bones. Now we can have bone mill in two different ways. I like it. Well, whilst you lot have been down in that stinky old hole, playing with skeletons and god knows what, I have been doing some building and it's kind of made of glass so you can't really see it. Let's go and check this out. I think I've got some really good ideas of uh, what to do with this place now. We've got some um, different archways up. I'm not sure which one I like more. Um, this one is quite flat. That one's a little bit more archy. I'm thinking I'm liking that. Better than that. There's, there's, there's a slight difference. One, two, two on each side. This goes two, three... And then the middle. Yep, yeah, that one's the winner. So we're going to um, elongate that across the whole ceiling. We're going to have to still break up the monotony. We're not, you know, we're not just going to duplicate that all the way across on both sides. Um, I'm interested to see what happens when we reach the top of the cliff there. I think the cliff is actually taller than the glass. So, yep, yeah, not entirely sure what's going to go on there. But um, I've also been working out how we're going to do the paths around the edge of this water. Like I say, we're going to have the crisscrossy bridges going over here. But I've also made room all the way around the edge here for a lovely path. And um, there'll have to be some kind of bridge over here. We can walk along here. Do, 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 do. Another bridge to over this bit. And I've kind of made some kind of temporary little tunnel type thing um, under the pillar. Uh, it might end up looking something similar to that. Um, very straight road across here. Need to do something with this wall on the side. But this is kind of my favorite area over here. We're going to have a big sort of concave area in here. Maybe quite a lot of this will be with loads of more plants in. And then we can go behind the waterfall. Oh, yes. We're going to have glass in the back there as well so you can actually see out. It's going to be beautiful. Um, I'm already really, really liking uh, just sticking with the naturalistic route. And then, of course, we have our entrance to uh, the actual main bit of the base over here as well. Uh, this is where, I don't know, a lot of the storage is going to go. This is going to kind of be like the showcase area where we show all of our plants. This is going to be kind of like the story area where we store all of our plants. But I'm really, really happy with this. I want to maintain the boat access like we talked about before under all the little bridges. Um, so we'll definitely have a little opening over here. Um, so that we can we can boat out happily um, whenever we need to. No idea what's actually out there or why we'd want a boat out there, but I just like kind of the ability to. You know, I don't want to I don't want to pen myself in and restrict myself. We could build goodness knows what over there. <laughs> We've got a whole big massive lake to play with. Um, so yeah, the plans here are definitely going really well. I want to extend this roof out a little bit more and kind of see what happens when we reach that edge. So I'll do a little bit more work and uh, you can catch me up in just about. One second! So I started hearing these weird noises that you're now hearing. Boom. Bo boom? Where are they? <laughs> they were just over here. Yeah, look, we got one of the traveling merchant people. What is going on here? Have I interrupted something? Oh, okay, right. You've stopped uh, pressing your faces together. What do you sell? Ooh, I, I, that would have been good if you'd have sold some uh, green glass or something. I would have liked that. Compressed ice. Okay, well... No, not really anything that I actually care about. Um, oh, oh, sorry, excuse me, sorry. My apologies, my apologies. Um, you just carry on existing, I think. Are you ever going to disappear? I don't even know anymore. Well, they're kind of annoying. What happens if I maybe help them disappear? If you catch my drift. Does anything bad happen? <laughs> I don't know, we'll leave, we'll leave them for the time being. I'll carry on working on the roof. 
Okay, nice. Yeah, I'm quite liking it. We've added the little bit of uh, jaggedy bits every so often in the roof to make it kind of look like panels or something. I think there needs to be more structure up there. Obviously, we're not connecting to the tops of the pillars properly, things like that. But for the most part, I I'm kind of liking that style of roof. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, so it's basically just four blocks, and then on the fifth block, um, everything is kind of raised up by a bit, and then it comes back down for four blocks, raised up by a bit again, and so on, so forth. I did also start playing around with some of these pillars. I'm not sure if I like it or not, if it kind of works with the colour scheme. I, I don't know, maybe, maybe. It certainly makes um, the texture different, right? Like, these are quite squarey. It really emphasises the fact that it's made up of blocks. Whereas this kind of flows a little bit nicer as one big solid mass. So, yeah, maybe we will stick with that. Obviously a little more expensive. But then I am the Quartz, Warts and Shorts owner, master extraordinaire. Which means I actually don't have any Quartz left. But, yes, it's really starting to take shape now. Um, really starting to feel more kind of indoorsy, outdoorsy mixture. Um, I'm still hoping the roof is high enough. It feels like a good height, kind of just being in here. Um, I still need to do a bit more cleaning up, like... Bits like this I need to replace with dirt just so it doesn't look so strange. We'll maybe do something with all this rock face and that cliff over there looks very unnatural even though it's incredibly naturally generated. Um, but this is all quite nice, like flowers and things. We, we need to really uh, bulk this place out. Um, but then I guess the last thing we should do for today's episode is actually collect um, all of our nice natural stuff together. Where is it? All in here. This is This is all the stuff we have. Um, so we need a whole bunch of different flowers and things. I thought I had a few more somewhere else. Oh yeah, we got a couple here. So let's get a chest. Let's chuck it over here just by the front door. And this is going to be kind of like our uh, nature chest. Let's let's try and put as much natural, naturey, natureness in there as we possibly can. Ta-da! Here it is. This is our current collection of natural, naturey goodness. I know I've got more things um, back in my other bases, like beetroot seeds for one. Uh, there's more flowers, there's like a blue flower or something as well, there's definitely going to be a whole bunch more stuff. Um, sunflowers, that's another one that I've not got yet, but we will get a whole bunch of them, we might even do it in a live stream or something, go plant hunting, oh yes. Um, but we'll definitely fill it up, I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. Um, and as well as that, I want to actually make some unique plants in here as well, maybe some big man-eating plants, yes indeed, that are piston-powered. Um, they look like big sort of tropical crazy things that maybe you can go inside and then there's like other stuff in there as well I'm really really chuffed with this area I think it's gonna come out really really good once it's done and I'm really enjoying working on it as well Any thoughts any ideas you've had for this area do let me know down there in the comments But that is gonna be it for today's episode. Thank you so very much for watching as always Thank you very much to my wonderful patrons as well whose names are all over the screen right now. Thank each and every one of you for helping to support the channel and make episodes like this possible. You're lovely. Thank you. But until next time, a good a bye.